All right, hello and good evening. So, um, welcome to my tutorial. So this tutorial will be a tutorial for uh, the fan. All right. So now, what we are going to do? Oops, I already started my own sketch. All right. So, a fan. All right. So like what I've said from before, our um, our required um, parts, three D parts is split into one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, right? So the whole thing, okay, so basically six parts and the whole culmination of the six parts. So first, what we're going to do tonight is we are going to do the fan and low, low pressure compressor. So we're going to start off with the fan. Um, first, you're going to need a 3D, um, no, no. A, a blueprint you're gonna need a blueprint so anything would do so just search up any model so for example if I search CM F56 that is I, th I believe that is the engine for the A320 yeah CFM56 so if I search this up and then I search blueprint something will come up right oops I guess not cross-sectional view There we go. Uh, we could use this. Oh no, this one's better. So we could use this, all right? But then the problem with this one is that it's not detailed, right? <clears throat> it's detailed, but not in, to our liking. It's not HD enough, right? Um, but no worries, we could use this. Um, or you could also use my personal 3D blueprint in which I will be posting the link down below. On where you can download it I'll probably upload it in my Google Drive all right so for now what we're gonna do is we are going to right click on the right plane and click sketch all right from there we are going to tools sketch tools and then down below we can have a sketch picture am I recording yes yes I'm recording all right so my picture, my sketch picture, or my blueprint is already here. Okay. Uh, we always want high resolution so that we can have accurate um, designs. Right. Now, <clears throat> for this one, uh, a lot of people uh, are used to using the scale tool, which is over here, in which you can basically scale up and down your image accordingly. But I feel much more comfortable using my own methods, right? So my method of doing this is I would um, double click on the picture and make sure that my image or my nose is right there on the origin, right? Right there on the origin, okay? Next up, what we're gonna do, since this is a, uh, this is a blueprint for the Trent 900, I'm going to be searching up Trent 900 line. Right, so 179 inches. How long is that? <laughs> How long is that? Oh no no, the fan diameter is 179 inches. Um, shit. Um, length or specifications? Oh lord. Length and size. Oh yeah, it is 179 inches in length. Wait, how much is 179 inches? Inch two meters. So 4.56, uh, 4.5 uh, meters. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change, um, should we change it? No, no, I'll keep it on millimeters, grams, and seconds, right? So 4.5 uh, meters is 4,500 millimeters, right? So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to click on the line, the line tool, start from the origin, right? Extend this, 
and just change this into 4,500 and, me, what's, that, what's the number? 4,546. Four, oh wait, what the fuck? 4,546. Alright, so 5,446. And then from there, we are going to increase the length. Or the. Yep. This is this is the part where you're just eyeballing it, so it's gonna be boring. Uh, please skip ahead if you if you'd like. We're just hang around. All right, cool. So that's it. So basically, what I just did is that I made sure that my line is four thousand four hundred and ninety six. 4,456, I mean, yeah. So my line is 4,546 in length, millimeters. And then I just eyeballed it so that my nose, back to my nozzle, is exactly that length, all right? So once we're done with that, we're going to close that. Exit sketch, make sure to exit sketch. And then start another sketch on the right plane, all right? Now, uh, the thing is, if since a lot of you guys will be watching this video and a lot of you will be copying um, this design, I suggest that some of you, since we are all in the same section, I suggest that some of you um, don't use the pointed nose. All right, so we're going to be changing this just by a little bit. All right, so I'm going to be adding a sketch picture of my own. So, for example. Um, the one that we searched, this one, so I'll save this image. Um, I'll save this image right now. And I will. Oh no. Alright. Oh no. Oh god. It's completely black. Oh shit. Alright, so, I guess that didn't work. Um, what we could do now is just get another bulging, there you go. I'll save this image. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? No, fuck it. Uh, sorry for wasting your time. Um, what, I'll be, what I will be doing is that I'll just make this into a rounded sort of circle okay so start off with the new sketch just like before and now we are going to take this right and we are going to start from the center of origin right, and then all the way here all right so once that's done oh and one more thing we have to make sure that <clears throat> we have to make sure that our uh, preferences or our settings are exactly the same as well. So for example, for you guys, you might not have this spline handle. So these are called spline handles, right? So some of you might not have it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the options. Uh, we're going to um, check on the sketch. All right, we're going to sketch and then click enable spline tangency and curvature handles, right? So once that's checked, click OK, and you will be having these um, curve lines, right? Or spline handles. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is 90 degree or perpendicular to this horizontal line here. Okay. Uh, 
maybe not too much. Okay. And one more thing, this needs to be um this needs to be perpendicular or tangent. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a we're going to select a new line. All right. From the center of origin, we're going to create a straight line. Okay. And then we want to make this hold control and this tangent. All right. Okay. The reason why we want this to be tangent so that when we rotate this, we can have a perfect circle. Because sometimes if um, if the line is, for example, if this is, oh, for example, if this is all the way there, then we could have like a dimple in the middle. And we don't want that because that's not aerodynamically correct. So um, I guess this is all right. Uh, we could have this there, but then it would be taking up more of our um, fan and we don't want that. So we're just going to lower that down by just a little bit. And there you go. So th this is just eyeballing, all right? So um, don't break your back doing this. <laughs> um, all right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select this. Oh, yeah, I, I chose a line, all right? So I'm just going to select from this point all the way to the line here, OK? And then. From there, we are going to straight down. Okay. So it's up to you guys. If you guys want to make this a bit more um, accurate or a bit more detailed, like what I did from before, you could. You could follow all of this, but then I suggest not since, you know, our professor only wants us to give a short detail of this. So now we are going to make magic. So select sketch number four, right? Go to features, and then select revolve boss base, right? So again, let's do that again. Sketch four, and then select revolve boss base, right? And then click on the axis of the revolution, this line over here, right? So as you can see, it didn't show. And I wonder why. I wonder why. Okay, so so now we've run into um, our first problem, which is uh, finding out why this won't rotate. Okay, so I guess what we do need now is we need to. Uh, Okay, so now I just created a single line for connecting this point to this point, and now we'll see if it is a go. So we select sketch number four, revolve boss base, and then select this. Oh, sorry, select contours. We create this, select that, then axis of revolution. Select the line. All right. So still no. Oh, there you go. So first you have to select the line, which is this line right here, and then select the contours, select this upper part, and then it will rotate. And voila. We now have our nose. Okay? Hmm. Okay. So now we have now now that we have our nose, what we're gonna do is we are going to create our our fan blade. So how are we going to create our fan blade? Pretty easy. Um, we could create our fan blade by first creating a geometry. So click reference geometry plane. Sorry, my mistake. Don't do that yet. Uh, go back to sketch number three. Right click on sketch number three and edit sketch. Right. Select the point. Select this point. And then select the top of this um, fan blade. So somewhere around, somewhere around here. Yeah, here is good. Right. Select that dotted area there. So that area there. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to reference geometry, click plane. Okay. And then our first reference, uh, clear or delete, our first reference would be, go here, uh, the top plane. So that's our first reference. So I pressed on this and then I went to the top plane. So that's our first uh, reference. And then our second reference would be the point here. <clears throat> right, click OK. And voila, we now have our different plane. <clears throat> okay, excuse me, I'm a bit sick. I might have the corona, I'm kidding. Um, uh, all right, so now we are going to create the base of the. We are going to create the base of the. Of the fan, so right-click top plane and sketch. Okay, and now let's view it from the top plane. Okay, let's view it from the top plane. Okay, so now. Uh, make sure that we are sketching on the top lane, right? So we sketched on the top lane. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to select the spline, right? Um, and then, wait, let me just take a look. All right, cool. Uh, select the spline and make sure that you start off from this line over here, okay? Select a point here. All right, all right. So select the point there, and then just extend that line all the way here. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to be anything. Uh, it depends on you, but just somewhere around here. This again, this is just eyeballing it, so you don't really need uh proper dimensions for this. Just as long as you get the concept of like uh the ratios of the sizes then I think sir will be all good with this since we don't really know the the size of the fans or uh, the sizes of the fan blade since these are confidential informations that is only available for the company that created this uh, engine such as Airbus right and Lufthansa they have access to these informations we don't because we're still students right so now all we have to do all we can do is we can um, speculate and just you know eyeball things so again do this use the spline handles okay so now what i'm doing is that i'm creating a curve right a smiley a small smiley a smirk and then i'm going to create another line a spline and for that spline i'm going to be creating this form right here okay so feel free to pause the video and then uh, just take a look at this smiley or that. You can move this up and down, I think. No, you can't. All right, so once it's there, it's there. So yeah, that is our, um, that is our base for um, the fan blade. Okay. As you can see, I could, I should have moved it a little bit towards this area right here. That's all right. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly as what I did from before. All right, so now that you have the drawing there, click Exit Sketch. And now we're going to create another sketch on the plane 1. So this is the top plane. All right, this is the top plane, and this is plane 1. So now we're going to right-click on plane 1, and then Sketch. We're going to view it from the top. Okay. And now, here's the magic part we could do this all over again by creating this um this object or this entity or we could just highlight it by controlling it click control and highlight and then we could select convert entities right and now we have the exact same fig figure on the top or on, on our plane one right so this drawing or this sketch was on plane on the top plane. Now we transferred it to plane one, right? Um, hopefully you guys are getting this, but that's all right if you don't. Just follow along. So now we are going to select this, and we are going to remove all the relations. So 
by removing all the relations, you can freely move it. So right now, you can't really move it, right? You can't drag it around. Um, so now let's just delete the relations. Okay, now it's blue. Uh, if it's blue, it means you can move it around freely, right? You can even scale it up and down. So just be careful about it, uh, that you don't uh, change it too much. Okay, so I'm just going to con click Control Z. Oops, I may have gone too far. All right, so just remove all the relations. And now what we want to do is we want to highlight it again. Select um, under Move Entities, the drop down menu. We are going to rotate entities. Okay, the center of rotation should be somewhere around here. Just pick the center point of our object, um, whichever area you think it is in, and we are going to rotate it by negative 10. Yeah, I think negative 10 is all right. So we are going to rotate it by negative 10. Right. I think so. Wait, let me just... Hmm. Yeah, so uh, fuck it. Uh, escape. Alright. Sorry, I was thinking about the direction of our fan blade. If this is correct. If it's wrong, then just. Yeah, do whatever you want. Anyways, so now that we already have this, uh, click uh, Escape ex uh, Exit Sketch, right? And then we're going to hide plane one. So right click and then hide. Okay. And now let's view it from the right plane view. We have this, right? We are also going to hide our revolve. Right. So we're hiding a revolve boss face. And now let's go to sketch. Under sketch, go to 3D sketch. Select spline. Right, and then from the edge of our drawing, which is here, extend it towards the edge of our other drawing. Oops, I guess it's not showing. All right, uh, before we do that, let's exit sketch first. Let's get rid of the picture. Right, uh, we can do that by right clicking sketch three and selecting hide. Right, and now we can freely go back to 3D sketch, spline. Select the edge of this um, drawing and then directly put it towards the edge of that drawing and then do the other thing for the other side. And voila! Right now we have them connected. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to show sketch 3 again. So right click sketch 3 and then click show. Okay. And the reason why we're, why we're doing this is so that we can um, we can manipulate these lines accordingly, right? Right. So now I'm just uh, I'm just making sure that this All right, so this is not really there because um, apparently our fan blade is too big. It's too thick. Damn, boy. It's too thick. Uh, but that's all right. Um, I guess we could survive by just doing that. And then now we, let's hide sketch three. And um, we're going to give this a little bit of a kick or a curve. Uh, so I'm just going to be moving this around by just a little bit, right? Yeah. 
So what we want here is that we want it to sort of curve, right? I'm sorry if I'm being very vague when it comes to um, creating this. Um, holy shit, yeah, I guess that's alright. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm a little bit vague when it comes to um, creating this um, fan blade or this engine in general. Because um, really, it's just your artistic um, mind working. So it's really up to you. I'm just here to show you guys what tools I used and what methods I used. Alright, so right now I'm just eyeballing it so that it looks like it's a curved blade. Uh, is this good enough? Am I doing this right? <laughs> Holy shit. Right, you know what? Fuck it. I think this looks good. I think this looks good. Yeah, I, I, it just needs to curve a little bit. And we're all good, right? We're all good. Fuck this. <laughs> yeah, I think that's alright. Uh, just as long as it curved a little bit, that's alright. That's all what we want, okay? So now let's go to features. I'm pretty sure that you guys can do a better job than I did um, in terms of, you know, making it curvy. Just don't make it look too curvy. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to features. Sorry, exit sketch and then go to features. Create, uh, select lofted boss base. Select profiles, right? Select the lower sketch and then the upper sketch. And then it will show you like a preview. Select guide curves and select this curve. Click OK, right? Select guide curve. This is our second guide curve. Right? And click OK. And voila. Now we have our fan blade, right? So if we are going to show our revolve boss space, there you go. Now we have our curved um, fan blade, okay? So we, what we can do here is that we can, um, we can just, uh, show our right, we can show this now what we can do is we can highlight the loft one oh also make sure that the loft one uh, go to edit feature make sure that it is that the merge result is unchecked so if it's checked just uncheck it click OK and now this is a separate body okay it means it's not merged to our revolve area and that's all right so now uh, we're going to select loft one uh, go to under linear pattern uh, select uh, circular pattern right select direction and then we are going to select on our line again as you can see it shows us the preview of a of the fan blades we want this to be around 40 all right click OK let it load. Oops, I think I fucked up. All right, let me just uh, yeah, I messed up. Okay, so there's a reason why I told you guys not to merge it. Okay, because if you merge it, it will take a really long time to create um to create the bodies. Okay, so let me just uh, pause the OBS for now, and I'll be back shortly. And we're back, baby. All right. So, um, as what I've said, this is a mistake. Now it's stopped, and apparently it told me that it's it's failed. That's all right. So now we're going to uncheck this, right? And we're going to select bodies instead. Okay. And then uncheck features and faces, and just select body. Select bodies, and then select our fan blade. Make sure it's forty, and click OK. And there you go, it's faster than before. Okay, so the thing about bodies and faces and features is that features take a lot longer because it takes into consideration the merge that you have here. Okay, whereas in bodies, it just treats this fan blade as a separate body. So you're all good. So now that we're done with that, um, I guess our next step forward is to create the low pressure turbine right so now we're going to hide all right so that's it for our youtube video 
uh, that's 30 minutes just creating an introduction of our engine. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video.